Jaden, day three in the books. First off, the first three days, what's impressed you about this team? I think for how much everyone's picking up and the energy is still uh, high and just everyone being excited um, and just the family atmosphere that we have, everyone just enjoys being out here with one another. So it's looking good for a season, you know, when we get to tough times. Um, last night at our team meeting was a good team meeting, talking about family over everything. So uh, it's good. I, I see it's on play out in the future to help us. Haven't played since 2019. What does this season mean for you? Just to come back and, you know, defense had a great year that year to, to continue that. And, you know, we're wanting to help the next generation that's up, the red shirt sophomores and the true freshmen, um, get them developed so that when it's, you know, our time to graduate and move on, that someone uh, will be able to step up in our place and do an even better job. Also working yeah. with a different position coach than you had mm -hmm. back in 2019. Yeah. How's the transition been going? Oh, coach Moore has been great. He's uh, very detail-oriented, which I think it's awesome to have in the DB room. Uh, you know, he, he came in and from the, from the jump, uh, got us where we needed to be, got us to do what we needed to do, and I think we're going to be better than we ever have been. What's your confidence level going into this season? Well, just having experience. Uh, the more experience that, that I get, even just out here in practice, the more reps, the higher my confidence gets. Um, so just playing for higher confidence, it, it feels good, and I think it'll pay off. You scared by the storm last night? I was asleep. <laughs> I slept through a storm. Kyle, getting ready for what would this be, your uh, <laughs> senior year? Yes, sir. Super senior year. First off, just being a super senior, having gone through all that, what does this season mean for you? It means everything, just to come out and play with the guys, uh, to get another year. Like COVID year is kind of like a um, bounce back year. Uh, we just had a lot, of, a lot of time to get mental reps, you know, like kind of evaluate ourselves and just – believe in ourselves whenever we go out on the field and now we, now we have a chance to go out and show our skills. As far as being on the field in practice, is it for you now still more of a reaction than thinking about what you need to do? Uh, yeah, just like you just got to trust, trust in yourself and um, a lot of the young guys are kind of like getting the hang of that. Like I'm just trying to teach them, get them ready for the future, you know, and uh, I feel like we're going to have a really good group. What is it you like about this group of players? Let's talk about just the secondary. Uh, just secondary, um, just the the family atmosphere. So we just have our um, in, in the DB room. We're just always talking about certain things that we do good, think stuff we do bad. Uh, we got to get better at, and just overall, just pushing each other to be the best we can be. Oh uh, yeah, it, it was just felt my window, so it, it was a rude awakening. <laughs> Keelan, for you, how much are you looking forward to this season? Oh, man, I'm too anxious for this season to, to come. Can't really put it in words. Summing up, I've been injured for like two years, so I'm really anxious to be back with this group and ready to get back in action. How have you felt out there on the field? I, I feel good. I can't complain. All glory to the men upstairs. I just thank the coaches for, you know, trusting me, just in my abilities and – just everything, and I just thank them. Do you feel like you're ready for a full season? Yes, sir, most definitely. What is it you feel like, where do you feel like maybe you've improved the most as you get ready for this season? Um, I would say my man-to-man. -man. Got better with press man, mirror, and everything like that, the line of scrimmage, leaving the receiver at the line of scrimmage. Having the guys that you have around you that you're playing with in the secondary, how much does that maybe make your job a little easier? Oh. Just being able to trust the guys that I'm lined up next to, our bond, and on and off the field, it carries onto the field. So it's like second nature to us. Who's the one guy on the offensive side you have the biggest challenge for going one-on-one? Mm, uh, I would have to say Corey Thomas or Jalen Varner. Was that? Why? Just, uh, just because they're route running, they're precise route running, actually. They can get in out of their breaks quick. Can they have good hands? They have uh, good attention to details. So yeah, those two. What do you see as, for lack of a better description, the make or break for you? What's going to determine whether you have a good season, or maybe even the team has a good season? Um, for me personally, I would say staying healthy. 
Uh, I had a couple setbacks for injuries, but I'm ready to roll for the season. And for the team, we just have to click together, uh, execute on both sides and, and on special teams and make sure we get our job done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At about 1.30, I uh, thought somebody was coming through my door. I woke up. I was I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, that storm was very loud. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Well, for you, this will be your first season Absolutely. coaching with these guys, but you had a chance to work with them last fall. How Absolutely. beneficial was that for you to be able to coach with those guys, coach those guys up during the fall and then into the into the spring? Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, I'm a big, I love spring ball. So me getting hired right during the COVID, you know, our spring ball got canceled. Well, I got it in the fall and then I got another spring ball. So it was perfect for me just getting a full year, getting to know those guys, uh, getting on the same page. I mean, I didn't come in trying to reinvent the wheel at all. I came in uh, really just liking what we do on defense and just providing some techniques and uh, guys are liking it and we're building off of it. So it's great. What's your early impression of these guys? Um, early impression, I mean, I got some guys that play some football, uh, a lot of football in the MIAA. Um, you know, guys like Jaden Poole, Kyle Rink, uh, Jordan Wallace, Keelan Gordon, those guys, I mean, they've played, they know uh, what it takes to play in this league. Um, so it's been really good. I love how physical they are. Um, I think that, you know, coach defensive back, you got to coach physical dudes. You have to coach physicality, and those guys have it, so it makes my job easy. A little bit. It didn't wake me up, but it had my dog kind of uh, going crazy a little bit. Then my wife, she got up. I'm a heavy sleeper, though, so when she moves, I just kind of turn my head and go back to sleep. So uh, I don't know if that's good or bad.